Hi there everyone, welcome back again to Technoholic. In this video, we will talk about how to use ChatGPT in 2025. And if you are the one who have not onboarded in this journey yet, then this is the video and this is the time when you can get started. So let's quickly jump into our computer screen and I'm going to show you step by step how you can quickly get started and can utilize the potential of it. Okay, so now here you can see I am in my computer screen. The first thing here I'm going to do is I'm going to open internet browser and there we go. So let me type here chat.openai.com and there we go. So here we can see how this platform look like and i would say in 2025 chat gpt became smarter than ever and if you are not using it you are leaving a ton of potential on the table so let's quickly get started for example let me ask national bird of usa let's see if it answer correctly and yes here you can see it answered correctly and now I'm going to ask it in a contextual way. I'm going to say also let me know for India, Japan, China, Russia, Germany. And let's see how it come up with. So India is a peacock. Then Japanese is red crown crane. Then China is also red crown crane. Then um, Russia is eagle again. Wow. Both US and Russia have eagle. I was not aware of. And then Germany also have got black eagle. So in this way, guys, we can keep on chatting. For example, give me more facts about USA. So let's see what it come up with. From size, it says that US is third largest, which is true. In terms of geography, it says that it have got 50 states, which is again true. Then here you can see, since these are fact-based things, so it is absolutely correct. Okay. And I think there is still one issue, which is current president as of 2025 is Joe Biden. That's not the case. I'm going to say again, recheck who is US president. And now it searched on the web. And now here you can see as of Fab 11, 2025. And today is Fab 11, 2025. The president of US is Donald J. Trump, which is true. Okay. So uh, sometime the AI may give you correct answer. Other time, uh, you also require to validate or check it. Cross-checking makes always sense, especially in case of those things which keep on changing. However, when we talk about the facts, so 50 states in US is a fact, and US is third largest country is also a fact. So those does not change too often. In that case, I would say ChatGPT is quite reliable. Let's see if it can also answer who is vice president of USA and seems like we need to sign up so I'm gonna say stay logged out and here again it made mistake it is talking about the previous vice president which is Kamala Harris and that's not the case I'm gonna say search on internet Okay, and then it is also very smart because it can recognize the spelling mistake and can fix it by himself. And now we can see the correct vice president is J.D. Vance or James David Vance. So sometime, especially in case of facts, you need to ask ChatGPT to go and check for the facts. Okay, now let's talk about how we can create our account in ChatGPT. And for that, I'm going to actually close this one. And what I'm going to do here is probably I will do sign out from my main account. And then I'm going to click on sign up. 
now here you have four options to sign up and i am comfortable with the google one and i would say all these options are very easy all you need to do is choose whichever option you want and then uh, in case of sign up i would say it is very easy guys so this is the way how chat gpt look on the right hand side you can see you are signed in and then here just like google search you can search for anything okay so we just saw how we can quickly get started with chat gpt and then we also did sign up now let's talk about how we can refine our prompt and in past we also saw chat gpt also can commit mistake now we will learn how we can refine our prompt so that chat gpt give us a more better or contextual or refined answer for example i'm gonna write an email to my manager about project now let me hit enter and let's see what chat gpt come up with its own innovation i would say so here you can see i only provided him a very limited context and then chat gpt came up with its own format or own email that dear manager i hope you are doing well i wanted to provide you an update on project and then current status and all so the chat gpt have provided me a very general result if i would have provided him more context or scenario then it would have created the email in even more better way let me again write the same thing write an email to my manager about the project project of launching new phone by end of 2025 i'm gonna say it is lagging behind by a month and then chat gpt is a very capable enough uh, to understand what do you mean by it so it understand all different kind of context so that's how it is much more superior than any siri or google assistant now let me also write my manager name is kunal okay let me hit enter and this time you will see the chat gpt will come up with refined and a more better result so in this way guys we can extract out better result or you know refined result out of chat gpt so here now you can see the chat gpt was able to provide me a more better answer it says or it target my manager which is kunal and then it is saying i hope you are doing well i wanted to provide you an update on new phone launch project schedule for end of 2025 so you see better result in return so this is a very important thing that you need to you know take care or you need to keep it in your mind and there we go so here we can see a very clear and much more refined response by chat gpt than previous scenario now let's talk about uh, even further capability of it for example let's say i would like to know what is happening in india and it's gonna aggregate or pull out all the information from internet and then it will present in a nicer way so here we go here we can see uh, following is the result and again let me make it slightly bigger and finally here we can see the news from different different category for example business and economy and then here we can also see the reference so this one was from Reuters which is a very famous and known for its unbiased journalism and then again you can see from where the chat gpt have scraped the data so in this way you can utilize chat gpt search or the same thing is known as search gpt as well then we have got reasoning which i'm gonna say is specific to reasoning kind of task when let's say you ask questions like how much is 2 plus 2 plus 2 plus 3 plus 2 plus 8 plus minus minus um 65 and then yeah i mean this is not the best reasoning so far from my side but here you can see the step by step calculation looks really awesome actually i can also ask him help me derive algorithm or theorem of cyclic quadrilateral 
I have asked him to drive to him and let's see. And now here you can see the AI is thinking that looks really awesome guys. Have you ever thought that the AI may also able to think? So this is kind of power now the AI have. And now here you can see the whole theorem is being explained, which looks really nice. And uh, I do not have any doubt regarding the accuracy of this calculation. And not only you can ask these kind of thing, you can also ask write a code to create a city tour guide in HTML. And not only you can ask chat GPT to write me code in HTML, but you can also use it, let's say for developing new apps and so on. And there we go. Here you can see the following code is now being generated by chat GPT. Let me actually copy it and let's see if I can run it. So I'm going to copy this and let me actually open this new window of VS code. And here I am going to run this code. Okay. I'm going to say index dot html and then i'm gonna save it somewhere then paste it here and now let me actually run this and this was the example created by chat gpt in just a single click isn't it cool guys i mean generally how difficult it is to type so much of code and then here also the chat GPT did some mistake that, you know, it have used the white font. So that's why we are not able to see it, but you see the capability of it. So you can even develop apps using chat GPT. So that is really awesome guys. Now let me actually uh, upload an image here and then I'm going to ask chat GPT to tell me about that image, you know, what that image means. Okay. So I have uploaded one such. And then I'm going to say, explain this image. Okay. So this is the image which is related to AMD. And now here you can see the chat GPT is capable enough to pull information out of it. What this image is all about. And then it is giving me takeaways and things, which looks really nice. And then it started with 2015, 2017, 2019 and so on so that looks really amazing now you can also personalize your ai by saying remember okay so for example if i write the following which is remember my channel is technoholic and then i make a productivity tech video and let's click on okay so now here you will see the option uh, which will say that you know memory saved or memory updated this thing uh, you can see it here in setting when we go in personalization here uh, if you click on manage so you see the following thing is now being added so next time even though you know i start new conversation and ask what is my channel name it will automatically tell me my channel name is technoholic so that's the power of ai and then it not only can perform the intelligence task, but also can memorize certain data. Okay. So this was more of, you know, making it the personal. Now let's talk about customizing chat GPT. You can create your own custom chat GPT by going here in again, a profile. And then if you click on customize chat GPT, so here you can write about your chat GPT. For example, I'm going to create an AI bot, uh, for my homework okay now i'm gonna say what i'm gonna do with it so what do you do i'm gonna say student okay now here you can talk about uh the things what trait should chat gpt have okay so um you can mention here we can also add more thing here and let's click on save so in this way, guys, we can also create our own custom GPT and can optimize it for a particular type of task. For example, let's say I work in a soccer making factory and then lot many questions are related to soccer. Then I can create a GPT which is specific to soccer. And then if you would like to explore more, you can click here on explore GPT 
and then here you will find many more type of custom gpt so based on your requirement you can choose for example you want image generator you can choose that one and then click on start and then here uh, you just need to let ai know what exactly you want and then here you can see it is first of all generating a prompt then uh, probably it will create the image so first of all what it did is it created a detailed prompt out of the prompt that i gave it to him and now here we should be able to see the image generated and there we go here we can see the image of futuristic city and then you can also download it and can use it the way you want and just like other thing you can also fine tune it based on your requirement now so far we have seen the capability of free chat gpt now let's talk about if you pay for it which is like 20 dollar per month and then there is another plan pro which is like whopping 200 dollar per month what kind of benefit uh, you may have and for the time being i can only show you the plus version which is 20 dollar per month and 200 dollar per month to be honest for a service is too much so here you can see this is the paid version now first of all you will see the paid version have got more flexibility and access to more model and uh, if i give him the task any task okay for example i'm gonna give it a task which is this one and then you will see how fast it is compared to the free version the free version was taking too much of time to writing i'm gonna say it is at least three times faster in providing response or writing response when compared to the free version so you saw how fast it is to respond and now uh, not only you have got option to select multiple model but uh, for example you can also enable canva okay so when we enable canva and then uh, we write something for example let me again write the same thing canva let you customize the thing even in a more better way so now here i had asked the same question here and you will see the way it look and then the way we can or one can interact with it is next level so um here if i click on it you can see adjust the length feature is also there if we need to make the content longer or shorter so here you can see all different kind of new option which is not available in case of free plan is available here and then you can also directly you know edit the text okay like this and then um, you can also select the content and can make right click and can do ask gpd so i'm gonna say reduce the length so now you will see that the chat gpt will work and then it will try to reduce the length of these so this is the way here you can see uh, how the text was edited and fixed in canva mode and then there is an image mode also which i would say was also there even in case of free chat gpt this is voice mode when we click on it um, you know you can chat with ai without any problem so that is also feasible instead of you know typing you can directly ask question to ai and let me also show you one more thing which is sora and with sora we not only can generate text or image but a video as well so uh, if you are going for the paid plan then uh, probably you're gonna have better access to it so these were some of uh, common use case scenario how you can uh, work with chat gpt and can optimize it i hope guys you find this video helpful and informational if so then please do like and subscribe to technoholic if you have got any kind of questions or feedback for me feel free to let me know again in comment down below and i will catch you soon with one such video related to productivity till then you take care and bye bye